Hi, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys a little bit with what I've been playing. So I'm currently playing a Death's Oath. Uh, I think I'm going to use Blight on my Occultist. Now I just kind of started leveling this character and I wanted to show you guys the early stages of it and you can pretty much see the chess piece that we're going to be using. Now one of the things is that I made this character previously in Harbinger League but I played it as a Berserker which means we were playing life based. I actually want to try to make this character CI based this go around so we'll be playing it as an Occultist. Now, I'll give you guys a bunch more information as I actually level the character. Um, I got a little bit bored of the Onigachi character, which is why you didn't see much guides and updates from it. The character is level like 71, so it's it's there, but I probably won't be playing it much. Uh, so to go over what I'm currently using, um, my links are kind of weird. I don't recommend following my exact setup, but I'm using Control Destruction, Essence Drain, Void Manipulation, Efficacy, Reduced Mana, just because it costs a lot of mana and I don't really need damage right now, and Swift Affliction. And then for Contagion, I've got Controlled Destruction, Arcane Surge, Swift Affliction, and Contagion. Now, again, I don't really recommend for you to use these links. This is just what I'm using right now, because as I said, I don't really need the damage. And I can show you guys how it plays out. I'll most likely be switching to the Blight Gloves Alepathy, and we'll be using two Spreading Rot Jewels for Blight, which will help amplify the damage from Death's Oath. Now, remember that I can't actually use Death's Oath yet, but remember the ways to scale it would be Aura Effect, so things such as inner Influence would work for it. Now, this will also work for things like Discipline as well, uh, which is kind of one benefit of playing CI. You can also scale it, I believe, with Area, Area Damage, Damage Over Time, uh, and Chaos Damage. Now, I've never actually leveled with... I've never played Essence Drain actually before. I did play Blight to 100 in the... I don't remember what league it was. But anyway, that's beside the point. And Breach League. And I never really played Essence Drain, so I wanted to kind of level a character with Essence Drain to see how it feels. Uh, as you can see here, I'm really good at aiming. I'm really good at aiming. I'm 10 for 10 with my... There we go! Got him. The cool thing about leveling with Essence Drain Contagion is unlike a lot of other things, you don't really need much to get it going. Uh, like to do that, for example, you don't have to invest into big area. You just literally have to have Contagion and Essence Drain. I think Contagion even gets base area on level up. And Contagion is strong enough to even kill like white mobs, which is pretty crazy to think about. A moment of your time. Ooh, an abyss pack. All right, let's let's show the power of essence drain contagion while leveling. Come here, mobs. All right, watch the XP bar. Just watch it go up. Feels amazing, man. Again, again, I want more. Contagion, essence drain. Hashtag reduce mana, boys. Chaos all. Okay. So now just to talk a little bit about the character, if you are going to make this character in hardcore, I wouldn't really uh, recommend it right away, uh, just because if you're new to the game, I am leveling this character as a CI character, or well, I will be transitioning to CI, which means that killing bosses can be a bit sketchy. Since we're not picking up much life nodes and we'll be respecking life nodes later, um, so I would recommend to just wait and, you know, I'll play it out and test it out and I'll let you guys know the more optimal ways to level. Alternatively, you can just level up and just buy boss kills or have a friend kill them for you and respect the CI at like level 70. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the early stages of what's going to happen. And then last thing is to just go over the links for our Death's Oath. 
it is going to be very important that you get a minimum of four off colors on your death's oath the reason why is the links you want to use are going to be the following less duration conk effect slash ink aoe mainly conk effect uh efficacy you're gonna need to use a arcane surge in the last blue slot because when you use an arcane surge it tags it as a duration which allows it to scale with the less duration we're gonna put here and the swift affliction we're gonna put right here without the arcane surge tag it is not gonna work and then i forgot what this last blue would be or this last link but this is what your goal is right now uh would be these following colors and that's pretty much about it, and I'll get you guys some more footage probably tomorrow or the day after, and then you guys can see the Death's Oath character in action. Remember, if you guys are curious, you can look at my Death's Oath Blight Berserker. Uh, hopefully this character will be a lot better than that. I got bored of it, like, around level 70. I don't really want to utilize Abyssal Cry as much as I did on the previous character, because it reminds me too much of my old build. But that's pretty much about it. Anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you guys are curious, you can go ahead and look on my profile for my character and all my characters. Um, remember, they're all pretty much just located on the list right here. So anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's. Take care, everyone.